Hey guys, so right off the bat, let me apologize for the very awkward late at night video. You guys are going to see all the headlights and all of these street lights, so you may not want to stare directly into your um, screen. Anyways, I am actually headed out of the house to go and pick up my son from work. Um, story of my life, I am a personal Uber driver that does not get paid apparently. Anyway, so since I have to pick him up in a little bit, I figure I'll go ahead and swing into the Family Dollar and do the 5 off 25 digital and share that haul with you guys. Now, as we drive into um, the store and to get him, let me just go over a few things before we get into the Family Dollar. Let me go over some Dollar General things um, that came up, um, several questions that came up over the last two Dollar General um, couponing videos that I posted. So first and foremost, whenever the Dollar General has a glitch, or for that matter, any store has a glitch, it is just that a glitch. Who knows why it's working, um, how long it's going to work, what it's going to work on, etc. It's really more of a trial and error thing. If you think it's going to work on said product, you try the product, it works great. If it does not, then you just simply back out of the transaction. Another um, question I got was, could we substitute? So the one deal I'm referring to is the nine gang scented dryer sheets, the 60 count, and then the one pack of the Sparkle six roll paper towel. One of the questions I received was, can you substitute something else um, instead of the Sparkle paper towel? I don't see why you could not. I personally did not try to. I actually was in need of paper towels, so I went with that as that's the deal that I saw posted on Instagram. And again, when it is a glitch, if someone else has already confirmed it, I will most likely do exactly what they did, um, product for product, cent for cent, size for size, etc. That way you don't get to the register and get disappointed when you're, um, if your deals don't work out, etc. Um, so again, I don't see why you could not put in something else outside of the sparkle paper towel. Um, but again, you try it. If you get to the register, your subtotal is not what you thought it would, or your total after all coupons and discounts is not what you thought it would be. You can ask the cashier to void the transaction. And once they void it, not cash it out, but actually void the transaction, all of your coupons are going to go back onto your card because you did not actually use them. Now you will run into the instance of um, into the issue of cashiers getting upset because they, I, I don't know, suppose they get in trouble for boards, which I think is just the most craziest thing across the board at any store. Because if a cat, if a um, customer gets to the register and realize they don't have their wallet or they don't need a product, whatever the case might be, you're going to have boards in retail. But long story short, apparently they get in trouble when it comes to those boards. So again what i would say to you is with caution um change up any glitch type scenarios etc secondly or thirdly i don't even know what point i'm on no one controls the glitch myself included any other couponer that posts about a glitch we do not control it we don't have a magic button that says this product will be glitch out this week this product this week etc so we can only share the deals that we did and that we confirm actually work and that's pretty much that. Um, with anything, with couponing, with anything period, you need to be able to do your own legwork and your own research to make sure that you are understanding what's going on and all that stuff there. So just keep that in mind. Um, another thing to mention is I received so many questions about store coupons and manufacturer coupons. I did a post on the community tab here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. A Dollar General store digital coupon will actually stay store coupon. It is totally different from a manufacturer coupon. This is just an additional savings the store is giving you on select products for shopping at their store. So again, a store coupon will actually state store coupon. Now in the ad where you see it says, and by the way, I'm just sitting at a stop sign coming outside of my uh, subdivision in case you're wondering why like I'm still just sitting here. Anyways, um, whenever you see the ad and the ad says, uh, like the tie simply this week is $2.95, there's a $2 digital coupon. That digital coupon is a manufactured coupon and it's not 
specific to Dollar General. It is not a Dollar General coupon. That $2 coupon is actually available at all retailers that offer digital coupons. So if you do CVS, you do um, Walgreens or Kroger's, um, I believe Kroger's had it too, but I know for sure CVS. If you do CVS, you look on their app, you will see that $2 off um, one tight simply coupon there as well. So that is that store coupons and manufacturer coupons can be stacked together unless otherwise noted. So keep that in mind. Okay. I think that is it for the Dollar General. And anytime if you guys got questions about something, definitely ask me here in the comments on Instagram or shoot me a um, comment on Facebook, whatever. I don't mind helping, but I will tell you guys this. I'm not here for the foolery. I'm not here for anybody's crap. I had someone comment just some crap about the, the, the coupon says um, limit of two coupons, how you can use five, you're cheating, blah, 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 blah. As I was replying to that comment, that person deleted the comment. I guess they realized it wasn't worth it, etc. Anyways, my point is I am here to help. I will always be here to help anyone that is willing to learn. But don't come at me with no bull because I'm not the one. I may stand for nine or maybe for 11, one of the two. Don't even know what my license say, but I'm not the one. So anyways, moving on. Let me go ahead and go. So for the family dollar, we are going to be utilizing the 5 off 25 digital coupon for the family dollar. One thing to note about the family dollar um, digital coupon, it has to be all digital coupons that you are going to use. You will not be able to do some digital and then some paper like we do at the Dollar General. It will not work at the family dollar don't know why but it is what it is we figured out and i say we us couponers figured out way back when that when you use the 5 off 25 in a digital form and all digital coupons it works with no issues at all so again the 5 off 25 will be digital only so you cannot throw in any paper coupons none whatsoever 5 off 25 digital coupons from the family dollar has to be all digital coupons in addition to that the five off 25 um it, it works back if you have the paper five off 25 it would work backwards as to what the dollar general with the dollar general your subtotal would be 25 dollars before coupons with the family dollar paper version it would be 25 dollars after coupons long story short we're doing the digital um, version here and that version works just like the Dollar General but you cannot use paper coupons that is the difference so I'm going to go into the store get my deals pick up my sign record the video and get that posted for you guys as soon All right, as guys, so possible. we have made it back home and as you see I did two separate transactions utilizing the 5 off 25 digital coupon at the family dollar now, I did the exact same deals per transaction um, utilizing two separate accounts. So this here is my transaction on my phone number. And then this one here is my sister's transaction on her phone number. I went ahead and picked these items up for her and she will be paying me back when she picked them up. So getting right into it, for everything that you see here, I paid exactly $9 plus my tax, which was $9.74. Now first, I will actually show you the breakdown that I had planned, but I was not able to do because my store did not have any more of the Tide Simply. You do see a Tide Simply here just for a demonstration purpose so that I can break down the deal that I was planning on doing. So if you get to the store, if your store actually has the tie simply in, go ahead and pick this up if you want it, of course, and trade it out for one of the gain items. So you can put back either the fabric softener or the flings or the gain liquid, whichever you choose. If you want to have a subtotal of about $1.80, I want to say less than what I did. Again, for everything that you see, minus the tie simply, my subtotal was $9.00. If I had the tie simply at my store, I would have not gotten the gain fabric softener because I'm not in need of it. And I would have got the tie simply instead, making my subtotal $7.20 and then of course plus my tax. So long story short, 
if your store has to tie it simply and you'd rather pay $7.20 plus tax versus $9 per tax, then substitute one of the gain items for the tie it simply. So super quick. All I did was wrote down my um, breakdown on this little notebook. And I keep these little notebooks like this in my um, in my purse and as well as in the truck. They just really, I have these things all over the place. But they come in handy for writing down everything, especially coupon breakdown. So I did this breakdown when I was sitting in the um, parking lot waiting on Jada to get out the dentist's office. So anyways, this is the plan deal that I was going to do. You see, I have a tie simply $2.95, all laundry detergent $2.95. That's that. The snuggle for $3.95, the gain liquid $3.95, gain flings $3.95, the fabric softener $3.95, Mr. Clean, 24 ounce. Make sure you're always getting the correct ounces because that bigger bottle, I believe, is three or three fifty. And then the soft soap at three dollars, and that's the body wash there. That was my plan. Twenty six seventy with my subtotal minus the five off twenty five, minus fourteen dollars and fifty cent in manufacturer coupons. Again, all of these coupons are digital and available on the Family Dollar app, or if you go to FamilyDollar.com, you can clip them there to your account. 720 plus tax would have been the total for all of that. However, again, my store did not have the tie simply, so I went ahead and picked up the Charmin Essentials um, toilet paper, six equals 13 rows. These are $3.75. So with that math, my subtotal came to $27.50 minus all coupons, left me at $9 out of pocket plus my tax. So there you have it there. And show you the receipt if the camera will focus. Yada, 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 yada. I have no good lighting because I did not set up the lights. It's late, y'all. Okay, so you see everything there, etc. And then $9 was my subtotal. There you have it there. And again, I did this transaction twice. This is from my house. And then my sister will be picking up her stuff and paying me back for that. And actually, um, I'll probably give her that toilet paper too because I'm not in need of any. And so on. Now, a quick side note. I don't think I addressed this earlier. Um, but when it comes to doing multiple transactions, I've been couponing for a very long time. I frequent the same stores over and over again. I have a really good rapport with the managers and cashiers. And for the most part, if I'm not trying to do anything outrageous, I'm not clearing the shelves, etc., they will allow me to shop. Um, they will allow me to use two different accounts to get the deals. They're not crazy. They they know because they most of them coupon themselves so they know exactly what's going on. And if I got the exact same products, I'm doing the exact same deals. They're not crazy. I know that's not the same for everyone. All I can tell you that if you are new, just give it some time, build up that rapport and their relationship with your cashier and managers and you will get there guys you absolutely will and if it does take you to go to the store you know twice a week to get the deals you need or maybe going to multiple locations then that's just kind of what you got to do now most times in night i will shop at multiple locations for all the stores that i shop at cvs kroger's walgreens Dollar General, Family Dollar, etc., so that I can avoid clearing the shelf. I'm not one to take all products from one store. I, they, I won't do that. I will go to different locations if need be. So just a quick thought there. But anyways, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Now, if you are not in need of any of these products yourself, definitely hop on Instagram. There are so many ladies out there that are posting um, several deals for Family Dollar, so you can definitely pick and choose what it is that you want to do. And as you see here, the math is simple. You're just simply going to write down the items that you want. You want to add up the price of those items. Make sure you're at $25 at least if not more, and they subtract the coupons that are available on the digital app. Family Dollar is, when it comes to that digital coupon for the 5 off 25, it is straightforward. You're not messing around with any paper coupons, no instant savings and all that stuff there. So it really, really is like super duper easy. Anyways, questions, definitely leave them down below or hit me up on Instagram. I don't mind and all that stuff there. But until next time, guys, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.